We are in River Grove, Illinois, and we are at Elmwood Cemetery, and we are looking for Eugenia Pappas. We're in. A lot of pictures at the cemetery on the gravestones. Beloved son and brother, Nick P. Theodore. Born in 1917 and died in 1970. And obviously he was, he was in the, uh, he was in the service. Shakiris, Nicholas and Mary. Born in 1890, died in 68. Mary M. died in 1997. They were married um, in February 1933. Bots or Botas. Father Gus died in 2000 and Mom died in 2014, not that long ago. Their son, uh, I'll look him up, uh, Private First Class George Botts. I'm assuming he was killed in action, a Marine. 68, that would be uh, Korea or Vietnam. Thank you for your service. George, I hope you're resting in peace. The ultimate sacrifice. You know you you've got to you've got to pay your respects because this is why we have the freedoms we have. People like George gave uh, laid their lives down. This is Rebecca Georgiakis. She died uh, in 2006. She was only 24 years old. My Helopolis, Nicholas and Fotine. Uh, they died a year apart. Ooh. Born in 1900, died in 1983. Father. Gianula, mother. There's those bugs again. You know, I've said this before, but when I see these, any, a lot of these graves, these are regular working class people, and you you wonder what what was their life uh, it's nice the these folks here track us uh, someone remembers them as a beautiful stone here but many after a couple of generations and I've said this a few times are forgotten but what's intriguing is they're they all had lives and and you wonder you know what they did and what the stories were and, you know, most of it will be forgotten, lost to history. Nicholas Panagopoulos, Garganoli, Greece, 1933 to 1970. Uh, father, uh, he is buried next to Samuel Aniston, private U.S. Army, World War II. He was born in 1919. He died in 91. This 
so I'm guessing that Nicholas served in the in the Greek army. You know, when I see a, a grave someone that was born when I was born it I don't know if you're like this but I it makes me feel lucky that I'm still alive I guess it's I say to myself like why why did he die why look like a great guy healthy guy and died in 2014 George did he's with his father I'm looking for Eugenia Pappas, who was uh, Greek, and uh, she was killed when she was 18 years old. And before we talk about her, I'll give you a little background on who uh, almost certainly was her killer. And I can only describe him as what has been said that he was the Babe Ruth of Chicago hitmen for the outfit. Uh, one of the worst, probably the worst uh, hitmen. His name was Frank Schweiz. I think that's how to pronounce it. And uh, everyone was afraid of him, even other hitmen. Nobody wanted to see this guy. Um, the only other guy close to him that was. Uh, if you ever seen the movie Casino, that group that came out with Joe Pesci, uh, who he played the role of uh, Spilatro, Tony Spilatro, that was the hole in the wall game because hole in the wall gang, because they would break into uh, jewelry stores, thieves, burglars, through the roofs, cu cutting holes in walls and roofs. Uh, but anyway, back to the. The main story, the, uh, they were all skimming money uh, in Vegas. And I was saying the, the part of that gang was a guy named Larry Newman. And Larry was, uh, he was a psychopath killer. And they called him Lurch. And I've heard one, uh, I think it was Frank Coletto, describe on one of his... Uh, narrations that if you put those two guys, they were the worst in a room with chainsaws, uh, actually Lurch would probably come out alive. Anyway, uh, so he, uh, she was dating him, Eugenia, uh, for a short period of time. She knew he was a dangerous guy. The family was worried about it. And, uh, she, uh, but she, she dated him, and then all of a sudden she disappeared. And uh, sadly, they found her, or actually a tugboat captain found her in the Chicago River. Can you imagine? Her body was floating. And uh, she was shot in the chest. Now, the last person to uh, be seen with her was Frank. And he... Uh, the car that he had was washed down and sold at auction within the month. So it's quite obvious that he did it. Maybe she knew something. Maybe she heard something. I mean, these guys were these guys were ruthless. Her grave is, uh, I think, near this chapel. I do see a large stone that says Pappas over there. So let's. Let's head over there. But uh, yeah, these. This guy actually, uh, Frank Schweiz, he died in prison. He was busted by uh, wiretaps and moles with a lot of the other guys in the Family Secrets trial. He was uh, buried in 2012, and his body's uh, his body was exhumed. In, uh, no, he was buried. He was exhumed in 2012 by his daughter. Nora, who's on the Mob Wives show or something, anyway. 
she wanted to prove that was him and then they had him cremated and Lurch died in prison too he's buried in the potter's field there I don't even know if you can or who would want to go see his grave but she uh, let's see it's got to be this is the Pappas son Thomas this looks like the family uh, father 1898 1965 I can't pronounce that uh, if you're Greek you'll know uh, this looks like it's set up for the family future family yeah I don't know where uh... oh here's a Pappas mother Helen Father Christ. Now what does that mean? So we have Mother Helen who died in 75. I think that was her mom. And it says Father Christ, 1905 to 1994. No, that was his name. Or Christ. Oh yeah. Okay. This is Eugenia. Her nickname was Becca. And uh, it says, elusive in life, elusive in death, 1944 to 1962, 18 years old. Wow. So, it's a really sad story. Just, um... say she had uh, she's a beautiful woman she lived 18 years she went out with the wrong guy and he just uh, obviously as he treated everybody else she was nothing to him she was an expendable nothing and uh, that guy where he is now hopefully he's paying eternal punishment because he not only killed Eugenia, but he killed the who's who of uh, the Chicago hits. A lot of big names. And uh, probably topping the list is the brother Spilatro. You see, if you've seen the movie Casino, they were the guys that were buried alive, beaten with baseball bats, uh, buried alive in the cornfield. Of course, they were not... The truth is they were beaten up in a basement and killed and then brought out and buried. But uh, Alan Dorfman was killed in Lincolnwood at the Purple Hotel by this guy. Alan Dorfman was the uh, associate of Jimmy Hoffa. But he killed uh, one of the Giancanas. He killed, he killed uh, Mad Sam Stefano. another, I heard, I think I, not I heard, I read somewhere that he shotgunned him twice, blew both his arms off. So, that was a different era, and uh, sadly Eugenia was in a, in a, uh, in a way, you know, was directly connected to it in a, in a, in a sad short way so so Becca hope you are resting peacefully and uh, in a better place for eternity <laughs>